good morning everyone oh my god my hair's actually kind of crazy but this morning me and my mum are on our way to gibraltar and well we're actually just going there to go to a supermarket <laughs> which <laughs> which seems a bit extreme because it's like an hour's drive away but because they have morrison's then if you're from the uk that doesn't sound that exciting and well actually to be fair i've been living in the uk the last year anyway so i've been able to go to morrison's and places but now i'm back home there's a lot of foods and things that you can get in the uk that you can't get here and it used to always be when we were at school like our exciting trip out to morrison's to get some new and different foods for like pet lunches and stuff so we thought we would take a little trip out there anyway it's a different place to go to a little morning trip out to jib so thought we might go there and i think we're literally just gonna head to the supermarket because i don't think i was looking at what shops they have there actually mm. um on the main street and it's like not really not anything much. much different to what you can get here so yeah um it's either the same kind of like clothes shops that you've got here or a couple of random ones but so yeah i think we're literally just gonna go to the supermarket problem when you've got skin that marks easily i've just realized my camera <laughs> has been literally sat by my leg for ages and now i've got a nice mark and we're also currently just stuck in the queue to try and get into jib and i'm kind of needing the loo but at least we do keep moving it's been a lot worse than this before so hopefully we won't take too long getting in also jib likes to take on the typical british weather and there's just a massive gray cloud over jib although today's kind of cloudy but not this bad compared to jib the border is finally inside. What time did we even actually start? Half an hour ago. Because when we had already looked at the clock after yeah. being sat there for a while, so it's no idea how long, long it's taken. Well, now we've just got this last bit, but hopefully this bit will be not so bad. And once we're through, hopefully it should be quick finally made it here we're just working out it's been about two hours even though i mean the actual trip to jib normally takes about an hour but we ended up sat in the queue for quite a while to get in but finally made it here looks like everyone else is here too the car park's <laughs> pretty full <laughs> gotta say the morrison's homeware stuff is always quite nice they've got a lot of oh mum look i like this mug i like this mug with the pug on it <laughs> They always have nice homeware in here. I mean, supermarket homeware is actually quite good. Don't think I need to get any more nut butter after seeing yesterday's supply in the cupboard. We've even now stopped by the cafe to get some lunch as it was getting later. I've got a five bean chilli um, jack potato and it actually looks quite good. And it comes with some salad as well. Now I've got the fun of the queue trying to get back out. At least it's turned into a nicer day though while we've been in there. We made it out in about like half an hour, so that was definitely a lot better than trying to get in. There were still mega queues as well of people trying to get in. We've made it back from the gym now. I've just changed into my workout clothes and I didn't go to the gym this morning before going to gym as we tried to like get off pretty much straight away this morning but now it's really like gone half four just because it took so long to actually get across the border both ways that it added to like our journey time when it should only really be like an hour there and an hour back but it was just like super busy today for some reason so that had a lot of time but i am just going to do like a quick hit style sort of 25 30 minute workout i was thinking i'm debating whether to do it at the gym or do it here because i don't need like any weights or anything but sometimes just being at the gym puts you in like the right mindset for it i don't know just like the gym environment is like better for working out in but then i don't really need to go to the gym and as it's already like 20 to 5 i'm thinking it might be better to do it here because then i'll also be able to go onto the dog walk whereas if i go to the gym it might be kind of busy trying to find parking and then by the time i actually get to the gym get back here and then we're going out for dinner tonight as it is a friday we're going out for curry so i might just be better off doing it here so i might just do it at home i just wrote up a quick workout now on my way back from jib so i will do that i'm going to do three different circuits each one with four exercises 10 no 30 seconds on 10 seconds off and yeah just see how this goes i'll put it up on screen now so you can see what i have written that i'm going to do but i think i will just do it here i can also put the aircon on and be in the nice fresh cool air too i've just finished doing that workout it took about 25 minutes or so in the end as you can see you can get a good workout in even at home without any equipment and still get on a sweat and a bright red face if yours gets red easily like mine does and then i've even just done like a short sort of five minute or so yoga stretch at the end of it just to stretch out my muscles 
and I'm still kind of red faced. So it shows you don't need a gym, you just need your house and your body weight in order to get a good workout in. And yeah, God, I need a shower now, that's for sure. I'm like really smelly, and that's in here in the air con cool room as well. So I can't even imagine what it'd be like doing it outside where it's like currently. 30 degrees right now so I'm dreading walking out of my room because on the landing there is an aircon but I think I'm gonna let myself cool a bit and then I'm gonna actually shower and sort myself out. So you don't you Bob? Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah let's hope there's no cats lurking around here today. Hi Bob. Okay Bob, have they they nicked a trolley from the supermarket. <laughs> There's some people just walking past with a trolley from the supermarket. It's okay, Bob. There's nothing there. <laughs> There's a really suspicious looking abandoned car over here that's been beaten. And we don't know if it's been stolen or what the situation is, but it looks a little bit odd. We've come to try a new Indian tonight. Well, my parents have been here. I haven't though, so it'll be the first time trying this one. <laughs> <laughs> These are cute little tea light holder things that they've got to put the curries on. Never had that before in India. It's always, isn't it Chinese restaurants that usually have like, a heated thing? Never seen it in an Indian though. We've got our food now, come as well. I've went with a vegetable dance set today and it looks really good. They even, it not, isn't normally vegan, but they have made it vegan. And then also got some rice as well to go with it and it smells good. 